Hi, welcome to uh, the notebook setup video. So this video is for folks who were not in class on Wednesday, you need to set up your notebook, or if you were in class and you sort of um, missed some stuff. So first off, in your notebook, you can have a composition or spiral, your choice. You open it up. On the first page, page one, you're gonna write table of contents. Then you're going to write the t a title, so write the word title and page number. So in your table of contents for each part of your notebook, you'll have a title on this um, in this space and then a page number over here. Now the first unit is unit one, Earth Systems. So you're going to write that here and you're going to start on page seven. If you need more time to write this information down, go ahead and pause the video. Okay, after you've written your table of contents, that's on page one, you're gonna skip page three, leave this blank, and you're gonna skip page five, leave this blank. But make sure you write the numbers at the upper right corner, three and five. Now we're starting on unit one. This is the title page of unit one, and that's gonna start on page seven. We're gonna write the title of the unit, unit one, Earth Systems at the top. Underneath that, we're gonna write down the topics. There are four topics in this unit. So topics, and you're gonna list them. Age and composition of the Earth. And I just noticed a typo. That should be an E there. Let me make that a little bit more clear. The next thing we're going to write is our layers of the of the earth. Another typo. To say layers of the earth. Three says tectonic plates. And four is Earth's magnetic field. So these are the four topics. If you need more time to copy this down, pause the video. Next, we're gonna go into the essential questions. So this is the question that you'll be asked, um, you'll be answering for this unit. The essential question for this unit is what will the earth look like in 20 million years? So all you need to do is sort of write this question down. You don't need to answer it here. You're gonna leave the rest of it blank. If you need more time for the unit one title page, pause the video. All right, now we're gonna move on to writing down the notes for the first subsection of unit one, which is 1.1, age and composition of the earth. Now I'm gonna write mine on a fresh piece of paper. If you would like, you can write it on the back of your unit one page. At the top, you're gonna to write the title of the subsection, age and composition of the earth, and the page number, number nine. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to um, start your first section, age of the earth. So this is called age and composition. We're gonna talk about the age of the earth here. For age of the earth, the first thing I'm gonna write is scientists theorize the earth is blank billion, and in parentheses, blank million years old. Notice how there are blanks there. You'll notice that a lot of times in your notes, I will leave blanks for you to fill in using the information you gained from the lesson. The purpose of the notes is to sort of synthesize your knowledge and keep it all in one place. But you're learning the knowledge through the lesson. So you're gonna use the lesson to get that information. I will show you how to do that with this first set of notes. So for right now, just leave a blank. The second part says history of the earth is divided into four blank. There's a blank there too. I'll show you where to get that information. If you need more time to write any of this information, just pause the video. The last thing you wanna write on this page <clears throat> is, a, make, is a table. This table will have one, 
two, three columns. At the top of the first column, you're going to write the word ERA, E-R-A. At the top of the second one, you're going to write time span, so T-I-M-E-S-P-A-N. And then I have a star here to note that the time span is going to be measured in millions of years ago. So, and the unit for that is M capital M little a. So capital M little a equals millions years ago. And the final thing you're going to write here in the last column is tr are trigger words. And trigger words are essentially words that will trigger your knowledge or your understanding of uh, a topic or a subject. And we'll see how to use that later. So for right now, you want to set up the titles for your columns. Now for the rows, you'll notice that there are there's one big row that I use two spaces for. So this first row has two spaces and then one, two, three little rows. OK, so you have a total of four rows and the first one use two lines and then the second, the last three use uh, just one line. OK, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you're going to fill in this information. I forgot to mention that you notice that there's a big gap between history and then the table. Make sure you have that gap because you're going to use that for uh, a timeline. All right, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to fill out uh, the, the blanks. So if you need more time for any of this stuff, remember, you can always rewind and pause the video to capture the information.